ARM CPU is inherently much more energy efficient than an x86 CPU. So if you look at the simple uh, uh, kind of history of where they come from, ARM comes from the embedded world where power limitations were the first thing that you ran into, right? The, in embedded world, you have less than a watt of power and then you try to maximize your performance. Intel comes from the x86 PC world where originally they were actually connected to a wall socket and they didn't have to consider power. Even today in laptops, you have a very big battery, right? So you don't have to, power is a consideration but not the number one consideration. The number one consideration for x86 has always been to make operating systems like Windows run much faster and to be able to respond to unpredictable tasks such as a mouse click or a keyboard entry. And this is why uh, an x86 architecture has such a big cache, spends so much of their area on, on uh, um, uh, components such as branch prediction and speculative execution, which uh, make Windows and other operating systems run much faster. So it's a terrific processor for everyday computing, not the right device as we go to high performance computing. The initiative at Barcelona is to explore ARM, which is a much more energy efficient CPU, with a CUDA GPU to accelerate the applications for high performance computing. And we're doing a development board for the community to kickstart that ecosystem, to kickstart the software, you know, essentially just set everything up for ARM as it uh, makes its headway into the server and HPC markets.